<laughs> but how about the whole setting an example uh, thing? Am I going to ask why you know that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, no. I, we've been the last two years. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the NFL and its reaction. Um, we, we still don't have an answer when it comes to Michael Vick uh, in terms of what his um, – his situation will be whether he will be welcomed back or if there will be some uh, sort of provision or whatever. Uh, but we do know that he's suspended. So what do you think is going to happen to Dante? Well, there is a precedence kind of set with the Leonard Little situation. Yes. He was a, uh, a player for the Rams on his birthday. He was driving intoxicated, ran a light, rammed in another car, killed a woman. Um, unlike Dante, he really hasn't handled it as well. And frankly, a couple of years ago, he got caught again with the DUI. He didn't kill anybody, though, uh, this time. He was suspended for a little while by the NFL, but he's resumed his career. He's Very made little. millions. Eight Very, what was it? Very little was it four while. games? Uh, eight. Think, eight games? Yeah. yeah. Uh, minuscule half a season suspension for what he did. So I think, look, Roger Goodell wants to be the commissioner who's tough on all these guys, Pac-Man Jones, Tank Johnson, Chris Henry, and now obviously Stallworth and Vic. The reality, though, is if he goes over the eight games that – that Leonard Little got, I think Dante Stallworth has a leg to stand on and say, wait a minute, how did Leonard only get eight and you're going to give me a year or more? And I, but I, I think what the commissioner is doing is good in that he is protecting, quote unquote, the shield, meaning the brand of the NFL, uh, holding up some standards because we know our players, uh, kids do look up to players. And so that this is a good thing. So I, I do like the fact that he is coming down on players and they break the law and different things like that. So he's been doing it for a while and I think it's been very good. One thing you have to keep in mind, though, in the criminal justice system, when someone is convicted of a crime and then sentenced to probation or some type of parole, one of the things that the court wants them to do is work. Every day I have sentences. As part of your sentence, you are to work and have employment. So when people say Dante Stallworth should not work, football is his work. And Gary, you don't want to take away a man's livelihood because of uh, one mistake. Well, Gary and I have talked about Michael Vick, and, and there have been arguments made that you know he should be able, if he's paid his debt to society, to come back and continue working in the field in which he is trained. Right, and this is where if athletes... If one of us, hopefully this never happened to us, but if one of us yeah, were in a situation guys, yeah, that, <laughs> you know, you'd want to be able to come back and say, well, I, you know, I can still do my job. I've paid my debt to society. That's the way everybody else is treated. And right. so, uh, you know, the players should be treated the same way. In fact, if anything, they get a stiffer punishment because they're in the public eye and the commissioner comes down on them, which I think is good. See, but I get that whole they definitely should be able to go thing, back and play. Though. But I also think that you ought to say to people, if you, if you stand up like a man or a woman, as appropriate, and you, you take your lumps and you admit your wrongdoing and you say, this was something that I did and I've learned my lesson, I won't do it again, I feel like if you continue to be penalized, then what was the point of admitting your wrongdoing? Yeah, but again, when it comes to Roger Goodell and the Michael Vick situation, it goes back to the lying. Roger Goodell is very upset with the way Michael Vick, to his face, when asked, said, I have no involvement in this. And also, on two occasions, to Arthur Blank, who owns the Falcons, straight up told him, I had nothing to do with this. Obviously, he was lying through his teeth about it. And I think that's where the suspension is going to come from Roger Goodell, is for the lying that he did, because he frankly slapped him in the face. And I think he's going to get four or eight games. But look, I don't want to take the guy's livelihood. It, you know, he has every but right to come back. Dante didn't lie. Dante, Dante didn't right lie. From Dante's the beginning been said upfront that he about did it. it. Right. Exactly. He's been very upfront about it. And that's why I think when it comes down to Raj Goodell, will probably be a little lighter on Dante than he probably should be or could be. But I think everybody has to remember to, to play in the NFL, as, as Gary would know, it's a privilege, it's not a right. And Roger Goodell has a right to tell people you're not going to play for a year. You're not representing the league well. Yeah, but when you talk about a privilege, this is the only – It's for an NFL caliber player, this is the end of the line. This is the only place you can do it. So it's a Don't monopoly. Canada. It's a – no, you know there, that's not quite Lawrence the same. Phillips did it's it. Not quite, and where's Lawrence Phillips today? Well, he couldn't uh, stay out of right, trouble. Right. Yeah. And he also but, wasn't an NFL caliber player because of his mind. But nonetheless, <laughs> to, to – to follow up on what you said, that it's a privilege. No, these guys have a right to work, and to take that away from them, it's singling them out. Actors, they get the, no one's saying you can't act. You can't be a rock star anymore. They go on and do what they're going to do. An athlete, because it's monopoly, and because he's supposed to hold this, this shield, this banner of the NFL, and I'm not saying a thug, but Dante Stallworth did not act in a thug-like manner. Now, Pac-Man, he needed to sit down for a year because game or time after time, shooting, spitting, hitting, I mean, you name it, Pac-Man was a problem. Sit him down. Dante Stallworth needs to go make his living. And he has a much bigger form. He makes community service a, uh, a uh, 
a, you do a lot an, of an, an element yeah. of his return. Yeah, on your off days, you know what? You're not off like the rest of the guys. You're going to be in the schools That's right. every Tuesday or whatever. And, the and, off and it's a good thing. But you know, I'll tell you. You know, so many entertainers, uh, they do something like this. They do things. They get bigger sales. They get in trouble with the law. They get bigger sales. It's the athletes cred. are called out. Yeah, street cred. You know what I mean, you know, the athlete is called out, and people. You want to give all of the entertain other t entertainers a, a pass, which athletes are really entertainers. Athletes get a pass big time too. Kobe well, Bryant had a, a big a rape case, and he's just as promoted now. He's making just as much money on the convicted. side. He wasn't convicted. But it's still it's the, whole big, public, it's a big the whole public <laughs> image. It's a form of prosecutor. Ray, Ray Lewis. Lewis. The thing Ray is, Lewis. If, if, if it's an athlete, though, Ray he Lewis is convicted. Acquitted. You know, yeah, but it doesn't matter. In the, in the eye of public opinion, it doesn't matter. Sure, it does. These guys are still promoted by the leagues they play in heavily. The league still makes a fortune off these. Guys, if I think it's, I think it's ridiculous Ray to see Lewis Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis could not be more popular in Baltimore than he is exactly. today. Exactly. Yeah, right. Okay. I know it's my hometown. I don't care if he's acquitted or convicted. The reality is, this guy was in an orange jumpsuit and handcuffs on national television. That, that okay. Well, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I hate you. to tell you, we're out of time. You guys can continue, but oh we have 15 <laughs> seconds for me to say bye to Gary and David. Thanks so much, Eric and Dan. Good to have you here. I knew it was going to be a good show. Still time for you to email me and tell me what you think at. TCN underscore IYC at cable.com. See ya. <laughs>